Hey everyone, welcome to the video. So today we just wanted to talk about what travel trailer we bought and why. Well, we bought a Grand Design Transcend Explore 321BH, which is the biggest Transcend Explore you can buy. That was not our purpose in buying it though. Our purpose was the two bathrooms. And why would we need two bathrooms, you might ask? Well, we have three kids, which you may know from the other videos or because you know us, um, and you would be surprised and shocked how many times during the day two kids need to poop at the same time. And pooping for kids is quite an endeavor. And we decided based on that alone that two bathrooms was an absolute necessity. That is actually a big driving factor. Like we've used both bathrooms at the same time, I think pretty much every day. Um, it was definitely- Several times a day. <laughs> it was definitely the right choice to get one with one and a half baths. Um, and this is very long because of that. Um, a long trailer. A long trailer, yes. yeah. 37 yeah. feet long. 37 feet long. I guess technically 36 feet and 11 inches, but you know. Yeah, well, I think that it's actually more, I think it's 32 feet, but the, the tongue adds yeah, the, the tongue final. Adds. We didn't want the biggest one. We wanted um, just the things that we needed in what we were, you know, what we were looking for. And this is the one that had it. So um, there's a lot of different floor plans. They make a ton of floor plans, in fact. And you can see like their, uh, catalog That's just of three pounds. of them. That's just three of them. And, but, and there's the other ones. Yeah, they've got a <laughs> bunch. So one of the other options we were looking at besides a travel trailer was in fact a toy hauler, also a trailer, but uh, toy haulers for those of you who don't know, is just, um, it's it's an RV that's set up set with, with a garage inside. So mm -hmm. um, you can put your ATVs or motorcycles or bicycles or right. whatever you do exactly, kayaks, whatnot. Um, inside of your RV. We were looking at it for the purpose of a gigantic kids play area. But. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bet you weren't thinking of that, were you? Um, <laughs> but we did look at one. We looked at the, uh, what is this, the 29G? Yeah, um, Momentum. Momentum 29G. Yeah. yeah, and like, it was really tempting. I mean, I feel like there was a lot of potential in that. Right. Um, it's a little heavier and it was more expensive. I think it was like twice the cost, so we, we opted not to go that route. Right. Um, it's just until like, I mean, we're just not sure how long we're gonna be sticking with it. And until we are sure, we wanna make sure we didn't yeah, invest tons respect. of money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But um, you know, toy haulers could present a good option if you wanna use that garage portion of the RV mm -hmm. to, um, you know. Store your toys. Store your toys, yeah. <laughs> Adult or child. <laughs> or child. There's like a, it's kind of weird. There's like a bunk, like a bed that like raises and lowers. Yeah. Um, so they like, they do intend for somebody to sleep in that garage portion. Right. And I totally think you can make that into some kind of bunk setup if you wanted to, if you're handy, right. you want to like, you know, do that on your own. Mm -hmm. um, there's no like option to do that, but right. you could totally do something. Right. Mm -hmm. We really liked it because, um, yeah. You also like you could close the door that went into the garage, and it was it was not like soundproof necessarily, it was like more but it was soundproof very than yeah, yeah, it was very sound muffled. Um, I mean, we had our kids stand on the other side and scream their heads off. You know, they are very yeah. obedient children in that way, <laughs> and we could barely hear them. As we previously mentioned, two bathrooms was very important, um, and that's easier for some reason um, to get in a toy hauler, uh, except for the second bathroom, the one that is actually inside the garage area. Uh, is super, super tiny. Like our yeah, bathroom in this one is pretty tiny. Like our kids are actually complaining about it and they're tiny, but that that, that bathroom, bathroom in the toy hauler is like, small. I mean like, truly I, tiny. I, I don't I don't know who fits in that, but. <laughs> yeah, the second bathroom is too tiny yeah. for any real use. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, when you're a little tiny, you know, three-year-old is whining that it's too small, you know, you've got a problem. <laughs> this is a, this has L-shaped, um, bunks it's a bunkhouse small that's what bh stands for this uh trailer is surprisingly pretty light for how big it is um the like unloaded weight without any like water or anything in it is only 7738 the gvwr is 9295 um so you have basically a thousand five hundred fifty seven pounds of um, cargo, and, <laughs> I guess, liquids and stuff, mm -hmm. which um, that's for driving only. Like these can take weight, like when you're in them and they're right. parked. It's not like that's all you can ever put in there. You can definitely have like 
right. the full maximum amount of people sleeping. Yeah, once you have the tongue jacked down yeah. and it's like the stabilizers and stuff, then it's not right. a problem. Like Just for driving is when you need to watch out for that weight. Right. Um, and the tank capacities were, were another thing that really sold us on it um, because the freshwater tank is 62 gallons and that's pretty hefty for a travel yeah. trailer at least. Um, and then both the gray water and the black water are 78. Um, and normally the black tank is about half of the capacity of the gray tank, but because we have two bathrooms, then we get two black tanks that are each half the capacity of the gray. And together it makes the full capacity of the gray. Yeah, the, the black tanks, you really, I mean, I don't know how much you have to fill those, like how often you have to go to the bathroom to fill those up, but <laughs> like we've never, I don't think we've come close, have we? No, I mean, we well, we, we've come close, come close only once. because we use, um, we, do laundry in the RV yeah. and then dump that water into the black tanks. Um, and so technically, yes, those have filled up because right. we put more stuff in there than just water the normal black tank. Ones. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So the price range of this model is anywhere, I think between about 30, what, like six or seven to 45, somewhere, somewhere. around there. I think we got ours for a good deal. Um, it was like just under 38 and uh, yeah, like with taxes and everything, um, you know, it adds a couple thousand dollars, but um, I think we got a really good deal on this one. It did include the equalizer hitch, which uh, is a weight distribution hitch. So they threw that in as well. Yeah, hitch weight is, I believe, 728 pounds. Mm -hmm. um, so again, fairly, really, or really light uh, hitch weight for your truck, whatever your tow vehicle is. And the height is like right around 11 feet. We've been driving around Tennessee and there like are some really low bridges that we were not attached to the trailer, <laughs> but like, I don't know if it would go under some They of wouldn't have made it through um, a couple <laughs> So yeah, some really old bridges. You gotta really watch out for that. Right. Um, we mentioned that it's a grand design, right? What is the difference between grand design and other brands, I guess? Why did we choose grand right. design? Yeah, we basically, I mean, we didn't do like, Jobs of research on this, we had basically just through a lot of different experiences had kind of determined that Grand Design was just a really good brand for the money. Um, obviously, like not the best brand that could possibly be out there, but for the money, like probably the best option for us. Um, and so we basically, I mean, it was actually, <laughs> this was the first trailer that we saw. And then we had spent weeks looking at yeah, other, other trailers, things, yeah, yeah other trailers. Yeah, all over and. The place. Um, and found ourselves just comparing everything to the first trailer we saw. I'm like, yeah. and so we went to see it again just to be like, all right, is it really just that we look at the other ones and then start recognizing how everything's bad quality in them and maybe it's just bad quality in all of them? And it's like, well, I mean, yeah, when you start living in it, you do realize that the quality isn't as great as you originally thought. But I would say that Grand Design is still much better than a lot of other brands. Yeah, that's what we keep hearing from other people as well. Mm -hmm. um, it seems like nobody says anything bad about Grand Design. Um, right. Yeah, we chose Grand Design, and I think we would choose another Grand Design uh, so far anyway. Um, yeah, the color scheme is really good in this model. Uh, that was one thing that kind of sold us. Some of them are still kind of using like greens and like <laughs> just not, I don't know, kind of weird like campy stuff but this is something he cares about more. this is well this is our house you know we want it to look decent and there's a lot of dark coloring in this one which is kind of to me a minus unfortunately but yeah i mean it's it's a it's a pretty nice um nice nice design we needed to make sure there were enough sleeping spots for the kids and when we Definitely. mean enough sleeping spots we didn't want it to be there are a lot of double bunks um where it's like there's a very, very wide bunk and then another very wide bunk on top of it, yeah. um, which works great if you have two kids. I'm pretty sure if our kids spent like every night sleeping next to each other, then we would probably end up with two kids by the end of that journey. Um, so we just decided every kid needed to have their own sleeping space. Like there's not very much space in an RV. The very least we can do when we're full-time living is give every kid their own sleeping space. Um, so we were looking for a like separate bunk situation. Actual bunk, yeah. like actual bunks. Right. Um, One of the things that I really liked about the um, this particular travel trailer is that we, um, during some of our research early on, it was, uh, it was mentioned that it's a good idea because of the amount of weight that you're pulling in the travel trailer, like barreling down a highway at whatever speed. Um, some of the travel trailers and, you know, other vehicles, I'm sure, um, are, 
are built such that like if all of the slides, for example, are on one sl side, like slides are very, very heavy. Mm -hmm. And if they are all on one side, then it makes one side much heavier than the other side, which could potentially like make you unbalanced. Um, and so we, we liked in the design of this one how the slide itself is on the opposite side of the like fridge, microwave, like oven, yeah. stove, like all of the heavier things. Um, we felt like that balanced it out more. That may or may not be actually true. <laughs> it's just something yeah. that I felt like was really comforting in my mind. <laughs> I don't know, that was, yeah, I don't know right. that there's a way to prove that, but yeah. um, a lot of layouts have a, the TV in a really weird spot where it's like you That's have to really, really keep your neck turned the whole time. <laughs> um, this one, the TV sits really straight right in front of the couch. Mm -hmm. um, so the kids love that uh, right. when we you know, need them to just kind of stay put and watch a movie. Right. The problem with sitting down to watch a movie is that that happens really only at night and the TV is right next to the kids room, which, yeah, you know, is more or less how every single bunkhouse trailer is. But right. <laughs> we're still working on that solution. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, we did not need a fireplace. I just didn't really care about that. Um, this yeah. one does not have a fireplace. So the ceiling is is a little bit low. Um, I think that's something that a lot of well, people complain about with these is it's a flat true. ceiling. So it's not like a right. fifth wheel where you have like a really tall ceiling. Also, um, and of note, the slide has a shorter ceiling than the rest of it. Right. Which doesn't present a problem to those of us who are only five feet tall. But to those of us who are six feet tall, we've run into problems. Because I yeah. think one of the design flaws in this grand design <laughs> yeah. is that the um, the ceiling for the slide is the same color as the it's rest like of the ceiling. It's all just the same color. So and so you don't notice visually, it. Visually, yeah, you right. just don't notice. Yeah, so he hasn't even hit his head at all. I mean, like, we yeah. put foamy stuff so that when he hit his head, it wouldn't hurt. But it's like, oh no, he hasn't hit his head at all yeah. since that went up because it at least is a color difference. So. Yeah, I don't know, like, yeah, your peripheral vision just needs that, like, right. little bit of difference. Um, I, I tried yellow tape and I still hit my head. <laughs> and this stuff, this brown right there, it's like, nope, never, never had a problem. Right. So, I don't know weird but if you guys have any questions or comments about grand design or anything else related to like choosing a travel trailer please hit us up in the comments and please be sure to like and subscribe uh, we'll definitely make sure to uh, respond and we appreciate um, we appreciate you so thank you and Thanks. see you see you next time